Shavasan. Relax the body for a while. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Let the feet relax to the sides. Move the shoulders down and bring the chin closer to the chest. Now begin to relax the body from the toes, starting with the toes. Relax the feet. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, the head. Is out all the expressions from the face. Let go in the mind, connecting with the breath. Watch your breath. With the inhalation, allow the abdomen to expand. And with the exhalation, contract the abdomen. Breathe slowly and deeply. Each time you inhale, not only the abdomen, the entire body expands. Each time you exhale, allow the body to sink down. Relax more and more with each passing breath. Let go completely in the mind and the body. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms of the head. Be good, stretch your body, stretch your body, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up. Let's stand the prayer together. Sit up straight and close your eyes. Sadam 
विशेष चढ़िया ओम नम शिवाय गुरुवे सचिदानंद मूर्त है निष्प्रपाचाय शांताय श्री शिवानंदाते नम श्री विष्णु देवानंदाते नम ओम सर्व मंगल मंगले शिव सर्वार्थ सारिके शरणी त्रिंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते शांति 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 कपालभाति फोकस ऑन दी एपडम back straight inhale deeply and begin 
Right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold, close the nostrils gently. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, retain. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils. Watch your body. If you're tense anywhere in the body, please let go of the tension. Relax the shoulders, relax the face.
left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, retain gently, close the nostrils. Relax the top of the head, the forehead, the eyes, the ears, the jaw. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Through the right, left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, hold the breath very gently. Feel no pressure on the lungs. Let this energy circulate freely. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, gently hold. Relax the body, watch your mind. Focus at the third eye center, mentally repeat your mantra. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain. Through the left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left a long breath, one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Hold the breath. To the right, exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, on nine, on ten, on eleven, on twelve. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, hold the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, on nine, on ten, on eleven, on twelve. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, hold the breath, close the nostrils, last round. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, on nine, on ten, on eleven, on twelve. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, hold the breath. Last breath, retention, relax the body.
through the left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, on nine, on ten, on eleven, on twelve. Release the hand. Put the hands on your knees in Chen Mudra, keeping the eyes closed, stay here and relax the body. Normal breathing. Observe the changes taking place in the mind and body. The breath is calm and peaceful. Breath is relaxed. Keeping the eyes closed, please stretch the legs and lie down. Relax your back in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Focus on the breath and relax the body. Take a deep breath, slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms over the head. Nice stretch to your body, move the toes forward and strain the stretch. Feel a good stretch in the ankles and the shin bones. Now pull the toes in and push the heels out, press the back, strain the stretch, breathe. Release the stretch. Bend the knees close to the chest. Press the back down. And now let's stretch the arms in line with the shoulders with palms facing down. We do the twisting side to side. Knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, lower the knees to the left and turn the head to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, come up. One more time, exhale, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Each time you twist the body, the shoulders should be pressing down. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, lower the knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, come up. Now, stretch the arms over the head, arms are parallel, palms facing up. Stretch the legs up. We'll do uh, the rocking forward and backward. So as you come forward, try to touch the toes in Paschimottanasana. And when you go back, lift the buttocks all the way up and try to touch the toes in Halasana over the floor. So do the rocking four to five times. Massaging the back, warming up the spine. Just do what you can. If the back hurts, you can stand up and get ready for sun salutation. No need to do this rocking. Get ready for the first round of Surya Namaskar. Feet together, inhale. As you exhale, join the palms together to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears. Push the body forward and look up. Knees straight, elbows straight. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Place the hands by the side of the feet. Bring the chest to the thighs, pour it to the knees. Bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the black pose. Keep the back straight like a tabletop. Exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead down. Slide the body forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, the right foot between the hands and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. 
Rest the fingertips of the hands down and shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, reach up and arch back, look up to the hands, in knees straight, exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and the core rig down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring your left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and out back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward and look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, reach up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Third round, inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and out back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up, stay here and breathe. Open the right leg more back so that the back gets more space. And don't lean the body to the right. Center the pelvis, center the chest. Try to bring the hands fully down on the mat. Now take a breath, tuck the right toes in and take the left leg back. Hold the plank pose. Abdomen pulled in towards the back. Keep the head neutral, relaxed. Align the wrist and the shoulders. Slowly on the exhalation, bring the knees, chest and the forehead down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Gently sliding forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes in, back step, look to the toes, downward dog, mountain, inverted V. Breathe here, push the heels down. Keep the fingers separated. Push the chest more down. Slow down the breath. Pull the abdomen more in. Watch the head, watch the shoulders. Don't wrap the head down. And don't shrug the shoulders towards the ears. Just let go in the shoulders. Now on the inhalation, bring your right leg forward. Place the right foot between the hands and move the left knee more back. Stay here, breathe. Ashwin Sanchalanasana. Stretch the leg more back if you can. On the exhalation, bring your left leg forward. Stay in the Padhastasana. Press the hands down, shift the body forward. Chest close to the thighs, hold it close to the knees. <clears throat> and then try to straighten the knees. Now as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Pull up with the waist. 
Then push the buttocks forward with your knees straight and elbows straight. Head in line with the upper arms. Look up to the hands. Very good, Abhishek. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and out back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted leg. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and out, back, look up. And exhale, release, don't bend the knees. Inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps the part back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms barge back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, right side, inhale. And exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps the palms back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps apart back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra, relax the shoulders. Exhale, inverted wave, press the heels and the hands, lift that energy up. Inhale, the left leg forward. Move the right knee more back, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Shift the body way forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. And exhale, release. Last round on the right, inhale. And exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, flank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward GP. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Last time on the left, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps the arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch forward, inhale, reach up, arch back, knees straight, look up, exhale, release. That's very good. Separate the legs apart, take a few breaths, keep the eyes closed, slow down the breathing, relax the body.
Slowly, sit down and lie down, relax in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart, turn the head side to side. Work to slow the breath down. Watch your body from toes to the head. Let go of the tension, the tightness. Absorb this heat, this warmth, this energy in the body. Do not resist Shavasana, just let go. Take a deep breath, join the legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms up, stretch the body, stretch, stretch and release, get ready for the leg raises, arms close to the body, palms facing down, tuck the chin into the chest, move the shoulders down and keep the legs together, toes pulled up, inhale, stretch the right leg up, keep the knees straight. Exhale, push the heel out and bring the right leg down with control. The left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Support the right thigh with both your hands and bring the leg closer towards the body. Keep the knees straight. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. If possible, walk the hands up towards the ankle and do not bend the knee. Push the left thigh closer down to the mat. Gently stretch the chin up towards the right toes and close your eyes. Become aware of your body. If you're holding tension, just let go and focus on deep and slow breathing. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen. Do not tense the neck muscles. Keep the elbows bent. Now we'll do the Supta uh, Padangushtasana series. So we hold the right big toe with the right hand or just hold, put the head and chest down and hold the thigh from inside, the right thigh with your right hand. Stretch your left arm in line with the shoulder. On the exhalation, bring the right leg to the right side. 
keep the head in the center or turn the head opposite. Just find your comfortable position for the head. And now you need to push the left body down towards the floor to work on the hip joint. Keep the right knee straight. So you're holding either the toe or the thigh from inside, the right side. As you inhale, raise the right leg up and interchange your hands position. Hold the right toes with your left hand, stretch the right arm in line with the right shoulder. On the exhalation, bring the right leg to the left side of your body, down the head to the right and press the right shoulder down. Keep the right knee straight. If you're not able to hold the toe without bending the knee, please hold the outside of the right thigh with your left hand and pull the leg more up. The right shoulder has to be pressing down, relax the neck muscles, slow down the breathing, breathe into the abdomen very slowly and deeply. Slowly, as you inhale, bring the leg back to the center, keeping the arms close to the body, slowly exhale, bring the leg down. Left leg up, inhale, hold the left thigh and bring the leg closer towards the body. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, walk the hands up towards the ankle. Keep the knee straight, push the front of the knee to the back of the knee. Relax the neck muscles and the shoulders. Push the right thigh more down. Focus on slow breathing and deep breathing. That's what bring changes to the mind and the body. The practice improves as you improve your breath. Reduce all the resistance to hold the posture. Just enjoy the practice and be there. Now we'll move the left leg to the left side. So make your necessary adjustments and uh, hold uh, wherever possible. Put the head down. On the exhalation, bring the left leg to the left side. So the right arm is stretching in line with the right shoulder. Head can be in the center or turn to the right. Push the right buttock down, bring it to the mat. So feel as though some force is pulling the left buttock down to the mat and then glue it there. Don't lift it up. You have a choice to hold the thigh instead of the toe if the buttock is not able to, if not able to put the body down. Keep breathing. And slowly on the inhalation, please raise the leg back up to the center, interchange your hands position. And on the exhalation, move the left leg to the right side of your body. The left arm stretching in line with the shoulder, press the left shoulder completely on the mat and then try to pull the leg more up. Head is turned to the left, relax the body, deepen the breath. Slowly as you inhale, bring the leg back to the center, arms close to the body. With the exhalation, bring the leg down with control. Now prepare yourself for double leg raises. So place your arms either by the side of the body or under the body or tuck the hands under the head. Now inhale, raise both your legs up. With control, exhale, lower the legs close to the mat. Come up, inhale. Exhale down. Third time, inhale up. Exhale down. Fourth time up, inhale. Exhale down. Five up, inhale. Exhale down, use the abdominal strength. Inhale, come up, six time. Don't use the arms and the shoulders actively. Exhale down. Inhale, come up. Now, stretch the arms in line with the shoulders, palms facing down. 
Move the legs a little closer towards the body and lower the legs to the right as you exhale. Turn the head to the left. Stay here and breathe. So if the legs are too far away from the hand, just make an effort and bring the legs a little more up. Hold the toes. If that's not possible, hold the back of the thighs and move the legs more up. The left shoulder has to press it down. Breathe into the abdominal stretch. Now work with your abdomen. Raise the legs to the center. Inhale. As you exhale, lower the legs down to the left side. Hold for a couple of breaths. Adjust the body for the best comfort. Slow down the breathing. If the breath is erratic, watch it. Now, as you inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, bend the knees to the chest. Take rest for a while. Keeping the arms by the side of the body, raise the legs up, inhale. With control, exhale, bring the legs down. Now, give a long stretch to the body. Interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up. Stretch the whole body, stretch. Release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side, sit up, relax into the child's pose, Shashankasana, preparing mentally and physically for the head stack, Shishasana. If you're ready, you can sit up and start the practice. Do the headstand or first few steps of headstand or maybe go to the wall and take support of the wall to do the practice. Hold the opposite elbows, measure your forearms along the knees, stretch your arms forward, interlock your fingers loosely. Now place the top of the head down and back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up. Walk forward until you feel the back is straight. Now bend the knees one by one or together to the chest. Move the knees up and straighten the legs up into the headstand. Try everybody. Hold it and breathe. Abhishek, you need to move the knees up. You're doing excellent. Instead of opening the legs towards the wall, you need to move the knees up. Your knees are into the chest. Now you move the knees up towards the ceiling. Aim to do that. Those who are up into the headstand, please keep the abdomen tucked in towards the back and relax the legs. Let the blood flow freely towards the heart and towards the head. Take the body weight mostly on the forearms and the hands, that's the tripod. Reduce the pressure on the head. Shoulders should be away from the ears if you're up into the headstand. Don't squeeze the shoulders towards the ears. Let's go in for simple variations. Separate the legs apart. Bring the legs together. Once more, separate the legs apart. There is a wider. Very good. Now twist your body to the right. Back to the center. 
Twist the body to the left. Come back to the center. Bring the legs together. Now we're ready to come out of the posture. Bend the knees, bring the knees close to the chest and bring the feet down. Relax into the child's pose. Slowly sit up, lie down on your back, relax in Shavasana, turn the head side to side, take a few breaths. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, and a nice stretch to your body, stretch the body, release the stretch, preparing for the Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Legs together, toes pulled up, move the shoulders down, arms close to the body, palms facing down, bring the chin close to the chest. As you inhale, raise the legs up, exhale, swing the trunk up and support the back and shoulder stand. Adjust your body for a straighter back if you feel like it. If the back is straight, just stay there. Elbows closely in, hands down towards the middle back, and then up into the shoulder stack. Shift the body weight completely on the shoulders if you can, and push the body towards the head. Align the heels, the buttocks, and the shoulders. Make the body in one straight line. Focus on the throat region, Shuddha Chakra. By holding the posture, we are locking plenty of blood in the throat. That stimulates the glands located in that region, thyroid and the parathyroid glands. Feel the warmth in the face. Whenever you feel the urge to move out of the posture, just think of the benefits that you're giving to the mind and the body by holding any posture. This is a very important posture. Those who are unable to hold long, please take the wall support and do the practice. You hold minimum two minutes. Let's now release the hand support and move into the unsupported shoulder balance. So raise the right arm towards the right foot, right hand, one arm and then the other arm. If you cannot do it with both arms, just do one side and then change. Body weight is still on the shoulders. Niralamba Sarvangasana. Very good. Stay here. Now support the back, lengthen up. On the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head. Eight Padhanasan. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg over the head. Inhale the left leg up. One more time, exhale the right leg down. Inhale the right leg up. 
Exhale the left leg down. Keep going. Come on, Mahesh, you're there. Inhale up. Adjust your body for the plow pose, halasan. Lengthen up, adjust your hands. On the exhalation, with control, bring both the legs down slowly, gently over the head. There's no rush, there's no hurry. Take your time. Once your toes touch down, release the arm support, hand support, and bring the arms on the mat. And try interlocking the fingers and pull the arms away from the body. Release the neck from tension. Tailbone is lifted up. Knees pushed away from the forehead. Feel the length of your spine. Feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. Breathe into the abdomen. Every exhalation, make sure to contract the abdomen. Slow down the breath. Keep holding. Now support your back. Separate the legs apart. Hold the toes with your hands. Try to straighten the back. Lift the tailbone up. And then bend the knees by the side of the ears. We move into the Karnapedasana. Your hands from over the thighs reach to hold the ears. Drop the top of the feet down and try to lift the tailbone up so that the knees can touch down. There's very little distance between the knees and the mat. You're almost there. Breathe. And slowly release the posture. Hold the toes. Bring the legs together. Support your back. Come up into the shoulder stand. From here, let's exhale into the Setu Bansarvangasana. Bend the knees. Bring the feet down, forward and down. Hold and breathe. Now those who have come down, please come up into the Setu Bandhasana. Keep breathing. Take the right leg all the way up. Stay and breathe. Keep the buttocks lifted up. Slowly exhale, bring the right leg down. Take the left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. So those who are still holding the back, we kick up into the shoulder stand. So come up, take your time. Lift one leg up, the other leg up, very good. Come on, you're there, Mahesh, very good, Abhishek, everybody. Now lower the legs over the head, place the arms on the mat. Let's re release the posture. Vertebra by vertebra with control, come down. And then use the abdominal strength to bring the legs down. That's very good. Let's take rest for two breaths. Turn the head side to side. Get ready for Chakrasana. Bend the knees, place the heels close to the buttocks, feet are hip width apart. Hands under the shoulders, fingers turn inwards. As you inhale, raise the buttocks up and press the hands down, come up. Breathe. Hold here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, walk the feet forward. Legs together and walk the feet forward. Lift the buttocks up. Uh, straighten the knees. That's what I mean by saying walk the feet forward. Very good. Come up higher with your buttocks. And slowly walk the feet back in. And with control, come down. Hug the knees close to the chest. Press the back down. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. Bhavan Muktasana. Keep the lower back pressing down. 
Stretch the chin, nose or forehead towards the knees. Shoulders away from the ears and breathe. Bring the knees closer to the chest. And slowly exhale, bring the head down. Keep the arms by the side of your body. Raise the legs up as you inhale. With control, exhale, bring the legs down. Now prepare for the counter stretch. Matsyas in the fish pose. Slide the arms under the body, elbows closely tucked in, hands stretching down. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look to the toes. Lift your chest up, arch the back, lower the head back and place the crown on the mat. Very little pressure on the head, most of the body weight is on the elbows. So keep pressing down with your elbows. Hold here comfortably, slow down the breathing. Make the inhalations long and make the exhalations even longer. Stay. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look through the toes and exhale, bring the head and chest down, release the arms from under the body, rotate the wrist, turn the head side to side and relax in Shavasana. Now listen to the instruction. Those who have poor knee condition, please don't attempt what I am doing. Is instructing now, you keep resting in Shavasana. Those who feel they can do the practice, get ready for Supta Virasana. Bend the right knee. First bring the legs together. Bend the right knee and move the right foot towards the buttock. Supta Virasana on the right side. Yes. So the knee, the thigh has to be uh, close to the left thigh and the top of the right foot has to be on the mat by the side of the buttock. No, 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 don't do anything else. And now same way, bend the left knee and move the left foot backwards towards the buttock, top of the foot down. Both the feet are on the mat, both top of the feet. Yes, Supta Virasana is the pos posture. Just take it easy, relax, feel a good stretch in the front and thighs. If your knees don't permit, please don't do this. And slowly release the posture, the right leg, the left leg. Stretch the legs forward. Everybody give a good stretch to your body. Stretch your whole body, stretch and release the stretch. Turn to one side and please sit up for the butterfly. Join the soles together, hold the toes and clap the knees. Keep the back straight. Now stretch your legs forward, bend the right knee and take the right foot backwards towards the buttock. So open the knee sideways and take the foot all the way back. Now uh, place the right hand behind. The right knee is bent, so place the right knee hand behind and hold the right knee with your left hand outside of the right knee. Twist your body towards the right, look to the right. Viru Parikasana. Stay here, breathe. Now we lean down on the left leg as we do the Paribhrita Janushi Shasana. So stretch your right arm up, stretch your right arm up 
and lean down on the left leg to hold the left toes with your right hand. Stay here and breathe. Twist your body more from the waist. Look up, open the chest up. Slowly inhale, come up. Release your arms into the body and interchange your legs. Stretching the right leg forward, bend the left knee, move the left foot backwards towards the body. Now hold the left knee with your right hand and the left hand is behind. Twist your body to the left. Look to the right. Oh, sorry, look to the left. Breathe. Now stretch your left arm up. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend down sideways on the right leg. Very good. That's a very good posture. Open the chest up, twist your body more. Look up. Keep breathing. Those who cannot reach down all the way, just keep stretching your arm up and away. Nothing to worry. That's why we do the same practice over and over again. Slowly inhale, come up and release the arms. Center the body, stretch the legs forward, get ready for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, stretch the arms up along the ears, stretch up. As we exhale from the lower back, stretch forward and reach down. Hold the Paschimottanasana. Adjust your body for the initial three to four breaths and then completely let go wherever you hold. Slow down the breathing. Relax the body. Slowly as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Exhale, place the hands behind. Lower the head back. Let's keep a calm stretch to the body. Inhale, lift your buttocks up and come up. Bring the feet flat on the mat as though you're standing up on the feet. Hold here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down. Relax on your abdomen. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching, heels apart. Relax. Recharging the body. Mentally prepare yourself for the backward bends. Getting ready for Bhujangasan. Place the elbows close to the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders, hold it down. Elbows pointing up, feet together, toes pointing back. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, and come up. Keep the lower abdomen till the navel point on the mat. Lift the chest and the upper abdomen up. So let's remove the hands off the mat and see what happens. So this is the strength of your back. Now, without making any the change, place the hand softly down and lift the chest more up. Breathe. Shoulders relaxed, Dr. Ritu away from the ears. Uh, 
and slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the left and relax. Now get ready for Dhanurasan. Hold it down, bend the knees and hold your ankles. As you inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Pull the legs all the way up and lift the chest more up, chin more up. Relax the face, close your eyes. Hold, breathe. Focus on the hip region. And just the visualization that you have to do, which really helps. So visualize more flexibility in that region and come up. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down. Place the hands under the shoulders. Give yourself a good stretch. Come up on the knees and the hands. Stretch twice in Marjriyasan. Stretch your spine, chin forward, push the hip back. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin and abdomen in. One more time, inhale, stretch. And exhale, round the back, squeeze in. Come back with a neutral position and stand up on the knees. We get ready for the camel pose. Separate the knees, hip width apart. The feet have to be dropped down, but if you find this posture difficult, you can keep the toes tucked in. Now raise the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, arch your back and hold the right ankle with your right hand. Now listen to the instruction. Left arm up, inhale. Reach with your left hand to the wall behind. Don't hold the ankle. Push the hip forward. Keep pushing the hip forward. Open the chest and don't tilt to one side. Slowly come up. Now stretch the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, arch back, hold the ankle, left ankle with your left hand. Now stretch the right arm and keep stretching the right arm towards the wall behind. Arch your back, push the hip forward. Very good. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Head is dropped back. Slowly come up. Now let's do the camel pose. Right arm up, inhale. Hold the right ankle with your right hand. Left arm up, inhale. Hold the left ankle with your left hand. Push the buttocks forward. Lower the head back and breathe into the open chest. Keep pushing the buttocks more forward. You'll curse me now, but thank me later. This for sure. Breathe, hold five, four, three. Saros, drop the head back, two, one, slowly, bring the right arm up, left arm up, and relax into the wide angle, extend your child's pose. Separate the knees apart, sit between the heels, bring the chest down, pour it down, arms extending forward. Stretch the sides of the body and breathe into the wide open body. Slowly come up, join the knees together and prepare yourself for the half spinal twist at Matsindrasana. Sit down to the right side and bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand close to the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left. Push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm. Right, hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. So both the sitting bones have to be on the mat. The left knee close to the chest. Shoulders have to be in one straight line. So if the right shoulder is hunched, please move the left foot a little forward that will align your shoulders. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen. Twist more with your lower back, upper back, and then the head. 
Breathe. Slowly, as you inhale, raise your right arm up and exhale, bring it down, change the side, sit to the left side of your body and bring the right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand behind, right left arm up, inhale, Exhale, twist, lean forward, push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm and hold the ankle. Turn the head to the left, uh, right. The chin is close to the right shoulder. Keep the spine straight, back lifted up. There should be no tension in the body. Just enjoy the contraction on the abdomen and the twist in the body. Working on the spinal column. Working to stimulate the abdominal arteries. Those who are looking for fat loss, this is an excellent way to lose fat from the hips and the thighs and the abdomen. Slowly inhale, stretch your left arm up and exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees close to the chest. Rest your forehead on the knees, with your forehead on the knees. Take rest here, breathe. And slowly, release the posture. Let's now move into the crow, Kagasin. Come up into the squatting position, making a rough square with your hands and the feet. If you're able to do the side row, you can move into the side row or just come up into the crow pose kakasana. Hold here and breathe. And slowly release the posture. Please stand up. Now, you face the camera and separate the legs apart. Get ready for three asana. Legs apart. Four feet. Turn the right foot to the right. Left foot slightly in. Hips facing forward. Now, stretch your left arm up. Inhale. Lengthen up first. And then as you exhale, bend down to the right. Let the right hand slide down the right leg. Look in front or look up. Breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down, change the side. Feet pointing forward, turn the left foot out and the right foot in, hips facing forward. Stretch your right arm, inhale up, lengthen up the body. As you exhale, bend down to the left. Adjust your body. You have a good stretch in the right side. Look in front and look up. Don't tense the neck. And don't drop the right arm towards the floor. It should be stretching sideways. Watch it. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Now feet pointing forward. Once again, turn the right foot out and the left foot in. Separate the legs even wider. We get ready for Parshukvanasana. Bend the right knee. Align the knee on top of the ankle, the right side. Hips should be facing forward. Now, no, no, towards the camera. Yeah. Now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale, as you exhale, bend down to the right, place the right hand by the side of the right little toe and stretch the left arm up, right little toe, outside of the foot, the hand. Correct. Align the arms and look up. Parshukonasana, that's what it is. Breathe. Now you can move the left arm over the ear and look up to the left hand. Turn the head. 
दूसरी तरफ से टर्न द हेड आउट एंड लुक अप टू द लेफ्ट हैंड या Taking your own time, please come up. Don't lose your balance. And let's do it for the other side. So bend the left knee, align the left knee on top of the ankle, arms stretching out, hips should be facing forward. Now bend sideways to the left. Place the left hand down by the side of the little toe. Stretch the right arm up. As in, when you're ready, move the right arm over the ear and look up to the right hand. Breathe. Very good. Keep pushing the bodies forward. The left one. Breathe. Slowly inhale. Come up. Don't lose your balance. Release your arms. Exhale. And now we do the Paripratya Parshukona Asana. So, uh, turn the right foot out. Turn the upper body also to the right. So the left foot should be pivoted in and drop the left knee down. We'll make it easy initially. Then we'll lift the knee up. Drop the left knee down. Left knee down, back knee. Yeah, good. Now place the left hand outside of the right foot place the left hand outside of the right foot outside yes now stretch your right arm up and bring it over the ear now you need to lift the left leg also up so the arm is over the ear very good look up open the chest up so those who are not able to do it you have a choice to place the back leg down the knee down don't worry it takes time and those who are really advanced put the back foot also down fully don't be up on the toes put the foot down heel down look up to the hand take your time please come up let's do it for the left side feet pointing forward turn the left foot out so bend the left knee and drop the right knee down initially we come up like this because it's not that easy those who can do it don't drop the knee down now place the right hand outside the left knee oh sorry outside the left foot and stretch your other arm up left arm up bring the arm over the ear and look up to the hand now you have a choice keep the knee down the back leg or lift it up and also try to place the foot fully down the back foot open the chest so the right elbow has to be outside the right, left knee twist your body paripratya parshukonasana slowly release Take your time. Come up. Join the legs together. Come to the front. Time for final relaxation. Please sit down and lie down. Slow down the breath. Take a while. Now let's tense the body parts. Raise the right leg two inches off the mat. Sorry, tense the leg. Tense the leg and drop it down. Raise the left leg two inches up. Tense the leg. Tense the leg and drop it down. Lift both your legs up. Tense the legs. Tense, tense and drop. Lift the buttocks up. Tense the buttocks. Tense, tense and release. Contract the abdomen, press the lower back down, press it down, press it down and release. Please don't leave the class without relaxing. In spite of telling again and again, people don't listen. Lift your chest up, tense it, tense and drop. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears. 
up, up, move the shoulders down, raise the arms up, clench your fingers tight, tight, tight. Open the fingers, tense your arms, tense and release. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose, tight, tight, let go. Open the mouth, stretch your tongue out, open the eyes wide, look to the forehead, stretch, stretch and release, close the mouth. Move the shoulders down gently, turn the head to the right, back to the center and turn the head to the left. Come back to the center. Make the fan adjustment to the body. For the next five minutes, we'll completely still the body. Legs should be comfortably apart with feet relaxing to the sides. Shoulders away from the ears. Arms six to eight inches away from the body. Palms turned up. Chin close to the chest. Once again, scan the body. If you have tension anywhere, let go. Mentally, flex the toes, the soles, the heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. The knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. Absorb the energy into the legs. You might be feeling some vibration sensations. So do not resist Shivasana. You need to absorb it. Say to yourself, my legs are completely relaxed. If you leave the class without relaxing, the whole day body will be tired. And there's little benefit that you draw from the 90 minutes class. Relax the abdomen, relax the chest. Bring your awareness to the back. Relaxing the lower back. The middle back, the upper back, relax the spinal column, say to yourself, my back is completely relaxed, bring the awareness to the arms, Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrists. Relax the forearms, elbows, the upper arms. Relax the shoulders. The neck, back of the head, top of the head. Relax the forehead, the eyes, the ears, the cheekbones, the nostrils. Relax the jaw, the tongue and the throat. Say to yourself, my arms, shoulders, neck, head, and the face are completely relaxed. Let this wave of relaxation touch the internal organs in the abdomen, visualize the organs. Relax the organs. Let the ceiling energy move up to the lungs, to the heart, and the brain. 
all the internal organs are relaxed, functioning effortlessly. All the body systems are healthy, joints are supple. Finally, let go in the mind, relax the mind. Say to yourself, my body, mind, and the breath are in complete harmony. I am relaxed. I am relaxed. I am relaxed. Gently awaken the body, move the toes, move the fingers, down the head side to side. Shake out the legs, the arms, bring the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up the head, give the final gentle stretch to the body, stretch and release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn to one side, take your time and sit up for the final prayer. Oh, 
ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮುದಚ್ಯುತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತನ್ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಎವ